One of my most viewed videos on YouTube is the review of the LG 27UD58 4K monitor. It was so successful that I did a follow-up video summarizing all your questions, but apparently that was not good enough. So I respond to you, random stranger on YouTube, Cass Buljap, asking if I can post all my detailed settings as he was not getting a nice image from his display. Cass is asking which settings I'm actually using and I believe that it's a relevant thing to show to everyone as I believe there may be many people that are not actually taking advantage of the full quality of their display. The specific settings of the LG are obviously based on the monitor I own, however the core concept uh, that I will go through to ensure that you have a good uh, quality image on your display are applicable to any uh, make and model. First of all, ensure you're using good quality cables. I strongly suggest you to use the display port uh, output and input. Um, you may also go with the HDMI cable. Be sure that you're going to use the 2.0 version of HDMI, especially if you want to take advantage of 60 Hz refresh rate at 4K. If you chain multiple adapters or you're using low quality cable, you're not going to have a pleasant experience. Install the proper video drivers for your GPU and ensure that all your software is up to date. Very important then to normalize all your display settings through the on-screen display of your monitor to ensure you have the most neutral settings possible on your monitor. So that then you can move to the final step which will be to perform a software color calibration in your operating system. Now, what I'm going to show you is going to be specific to the LG monitor, uh, so you're welcome Cas Vuljap, I'm going through all my settings in my OSD display, um, obviously this is going to be specific for the LG 27UD58, uh, however it may be fairly similar for other LG monitors and you know, you, it may still be useful even if you don't have an LG monitor to get an idea of what I'm doing uh, when setting up my display. First off, all brightness is at 70, avoid to set full brightness uh, as will affect your black levels and contrast. Contrast in my case is 56 and you should aim as well for a mid-level setting. In uh, picture, set a custom profile so that you are in control of all the settings. Now, you want super resolution off, as in my case was just over sharpening my image. DFC stands for Digital Fine Contrast I have it on, but to be honest, I cannot perceive a difference with it on or off. In the color adjust, I've set a gamma 2. Gamma has very dramatic impact on your contrast and white balance. Gamma 2 was the most neutral, giving me neutral whites. In color temperature, choose custom, as we want to normalize all the colors and avoid using LG presets. Ensure the level of your red, green and blue are at 100. In set colors, ensure all colors are set to 50. Now that we have normalized our monitor settings, we need to color calibrate in our operating system. Be sure that you close your curtains and turn off all the lights. This will ensure you're going to perceive the colors are the best in the display when performing the calibration. Color calibration is not only for pro video producers or photographers, uh, and even basic calibration using the built-in color calibration of your operating system will improve the quality of the image dramatically. You can view your color profile in the display setting in Windows. For example, Windows original color profile for my LG was this horrible. And here is my calibrated profile. Look at the blue colors in the picture and the shadow details. And look at the amount of detail you can see in the background night and day difference. To achieve a good calibration, you don't need fancy hardware calibrators, although you know they may be useful if you are a professional photographer and you do professional printing or really professional color grading for video production. But if not, for gaming or even prosumer usage, uh, software calibration is more than enough. So how do you create your own profile? Simply search for calibration and start the color calibration utility. Now, especially at 4K, you may get lost here. To start the calibration, use the next button at the bottom right corner of your screen. The first setting is the gamma, which affects both your brightness and contrast. Move the slider until you cannot perceive the dot in the middle of the circles. Then you don't want to skip the brightness and contrast settings, so just click next. 
A cool brightness should give you a nice balance between the white background and the black shirt and the X on the background should be barely visible. To be clear, here we are going to adjust the brightness on the display itself, not in uh, Windows through software. Similarly, you repeat the same steps for contrast. Again, you're going to change the contrast in the display settings, not on Windows. Next is the white balance. To ensure that whites are whites, blacks are blacks, and there's no any color shifting in your display. Here, I suggest you to have all at its maximum and choose the Gamma 2 on the LG monitor for the proper white balance. Judge by yourself as well if my settings are for some reason not right with your setup, but I suggest you to try to fix white balance in the OSD display first and then be very careful if uh, you fine tune uh, the sliders for the color balance in Windows. Leave setup clear type selected and choose use current calibration to save your profile and apply it. Next, you will be guided through clear type setup. Just click the text boxes with a clear text uh, until Windows is going to be happy with your selection and understand which would be the best way to render text on your display. Clear type is a must on high resolution displays as it's making the text much more pleasant to read uh, overall in the operating system. However, with legacy applications that are not supporting high resolution displays and clear type, the text may just get a little bit more blurry. That is a compromise you need to get to ensure that most of your application and the operating system itself is going to present good text in your most up-to-date applications. I'm super happy of my calibration and the quality of this display. I produce my videos on it, I do uh, photo editing and print some of my pictures and what I get in printing is very close to what I was seeing color-wise and contrast-wise on my monitor. Hope you found this uh, video helpful, so please subscribe for more content and let me know in the comment if these tips help you achieve a better image quality on uh, this fantastic monitor. Thank you everyone and see you next time.